हेलो एवरीवन ऑनलाइन रिफ्रेशर कोर्स बायोलॉजिकल साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय यूजीसी एचआरडीसी डॉक्टर बाबा साहब अम्बेडकर मराठवाड़ा यूनिवर्सिटी औरंगाबाद माय सेमिनार माय रोल नंबर इज 15 1515 माय सेमिनार टॉपिक इज रेस्ट्रिक्शन एंजाइम before start with restriction enzyme, we know about the DNA, recombinant DNA technology. The recombinant DNA technology is nothing but that we are manipulating with the genetic material or we redesigning the genetic material. Means what happened here? We cut the DNA, it is a DNA, we cut it, cleaved it and it will be introduced into that host cell and when we are introduced into that host uh, host genome or host cell that time what happens this cell is or the genome is recombinant one or the DNA is recombinant here we are called as the recombinant DNA why we call it the recombinant DNA because we are clue the DNA target DNA and it will be introduced into the uh, foreign DNA or this foreign DNA is introduced into the DNA with the help of the ligase enzyme and here what happened the manipulation is take place into that genetic material or redesigning or reconstructing this genetic material that time that type of DNA we call it the recombinant DNA and whole process we are used we call it the technology means nothing but that DNA recomb recombinant DNA technology is nothing but that uh, all process is completed in the in the form of manipulation of DNA or reconstructing of the DNA or we also call it the we call it the redesigning of the DNA or we call it the sequence that type of process we call it the or this technology we call it the recombinant DNA technology now in that recombinant DNA technology is very important tool we are used as a restriction enzyme it's very important role in a recombinant dna technology as a tool or we call it the restriction enzyme this restriction enzyme is very important why we are important because it is clue the dna clue the dna or cut the dna because if suppose we are not cut the dna then recombinant dna technology is not occur for that purpose it's a very important tool is that restriction enzyme here this restriction enzymes very important point is that we are studying here the restriction enzyme their functions their nomenclature and which type of the restriction enzymes are present in the nature or in the environment we will see one by one first we will see the restriction enzyme what are the functions of the restriction enzyme mostly we know about that restriction enzyme clue the genetic material or we call it the cut the dna it is cut from the phosphodiester linkage therefore this is a endonuclease enzyme why we call it the restriction endonuclease enzyme because it clue the phosphodiester linkage clue or cut the phosphodiester linkage that time that type of cut we call it the endonuclease enzyme endo means inside nuclease enzyme means cut the nucleic acid or we cut the nuclease enzyme or we call it cut the dna a phosphodiester linkage will be cut because of that uh, endonuclease enzyme therefore we also call it the this restriction enzyme is also called as the restriction endonuclease enzyme and here the main important functions of the restriction endonuclease enzyme are restriction enzymes three important functions here we will see here modification of dna the recognition of restriction site and third function is clue the DNA. We know that very well. Clue the DNA. Now we will see here recognition of restriction site. Means this restriction enzyme, they have the ability, they have to ability to recognize which site we want to cut it. Because on the DNA, they having the restriction sites. A specific site is present on that only this restriction enzyme is act therefore we call as the this enzyme is recognized a specific site on the dna that time 
this recognition will be take place by the restriction enzyme. It's a very important point because this restriction enzyme, you know that whole genome is present in that cell. And here what happened, this restriction enzyme is supposed to act on that genome. Means it only act in the specific restriction sites are present. Only on the restriction site, these restriction enzymes are act only. Therefore, every restriction enzyme, they having a recognition. Means they are recognized which site we want to cut it. Then it will be act on that DNA. Therefore, it is another very important function. First function is cleave DNA, we know very well. But again, very important form of function is that recognition of restriction site is occur only because of restriction enzyme. It is another function, it is second function. Another important function is that modification of specific type, modification of DNA will be occur because of that restriction enzyme. Why we call it the restriction? Because it is restricted to from the cut. If suppose mostly what happened, this restriction enzyme is isolated from the bacterial cell. If suppose we want to do gene cloning or we, uh, we uh, uh, do the uh, mapping, gene mapping, that time we use this restriction enzyme. We are isolate this restriction enzyme from the bacterial cell. You know that in the bacterial cell what happened, if suppose foreign DNA will be entering into that bacterial cell, that time what happened, this foreign DNA, the cell, bacterial cell want to diffuse this back foreign DNA for that purpose what happened they are synthesized the restriction enzyme and when they are synthesized the restriction enzyme own DNA if suppose it is a, uh, if suppose they are secret or synthesized the restriction enzyme and this restriction enzyme is also act affect on the self uh, genome of self bacterial DNA that time what happened it will be modified when these restriction enzymes are synthesized they are act on the own DNA for the modification. With the, with this process we call it the methanin will be take place here. Means the methanin group is added to the own genome or own bacterial DNA and it will be act this restriction enzyme on the uh, foreign DNA. Therefore, the very important function of the restriction enzyme is that it will also modify the own DNA. If suppose bacterial cell is synthesized the restriction enzyme, we are isolated the restriction enzyme from the bacterial cell. That time what happened, if suppose any bacterial cell, if suppose adding or enter the foreign DNA, that time what happened, to cut this foreign DNA with the help of the restriction enzyme, therefore they synthesize the restriction enzyme. If suppose in that bacterial cell, both the DNA is present, bacterial cell, bacterial DNA, uh, genome is present and foreign DNA is also present. Uh, bacteria want to cut the foreign DNA into these small pieces. They are not harmful to that bacterial cell. For that purpose, they are uh, bothered about that. If we cut the foreign DNA fastly. Therefore, they synthesize the restriction enzyme. As well as these restriction enzyme, the bacterial own DNA will be modified from this uh, effect of that restriction enzyme. Therefore, it is another important function of that restriction enzyme is that to cut the, uh, to modify the own genome. If suppose here this is a bacterial cell, in the bacterial cell whole genome is present of the bacterial DNA and foreign DNA is present, that time what happened, this restriction enzyme is modified their own DNA and it will be act on the foreign DNA to clean the DNA. Therefore, these is very important functions of the restriction enzyme. Three, three important functions of the restriction enzyme. First, clean the DNA, we know very well. Then recognize the restriction site, which site we want to cut it, which site we want to cut it for that purpose. Recognition is also done by the restriction enzyme. Again, very important point is that restrict to rest, uh, cut the uh, DNA. It will be restrict to cut the DNA. Means the both functions are present here. It cleaves the DNA also, it is restrict the DNA also. That time, that type of process we call it the modification of DNA with the help of methanin. That process we call it the methanin process will be take place. Means modification of DNA will be take place. These are the three functions will be take place by the restriction enzyme. These are the three important functions. Now we will see the how nomenclatures are occur in restriction enzyme. You heard about the BAM one, 
lam h1 likewise so is chacha polai r1 these are nothing but the name of the restriction enzyme how it give the name as a restriction enzymes because of that e is stand mostly e is written in the capital letter why it is written in the e capital letter because e is a specific of the genus it's just here if suppose we are taking a one bacteria is chacha polai how it will be give the name of the restriction enzyme we in which cells we are isolating this restriction enzyme stachycholia bacteria they are synthesize the restriction enzyme therefore it give the name as e coar1 e is the genus of that uh, restriction enzyme from the we are isolating and co co it is a small letter while we are written in the small letter because this is a specific species name stachycholia e co and r1 r is stand for the strain which strain it is giving the strain it is cultured it is giving the strains therefore it give the name of the strain r y 13 and one is the thing for the identification first order or firstly it is identified in that strain that time that type of restriction enzyme we call as the e co r1 means we are isolating this restriction enzyme from the stachycholia coli bacterial cell and in the strain of r means r y 13 strains means therefore in the given first name we call as the r and first strain we are identify this restriction enzyme therefore it give the name as e co r1 this is the specific nomenclature of the restriction enzyme lot of it's about lot of restriction enzymes are isolated from the natural bacterial cells and it will give the name on the basis of their nomenclature is such a pola this bacteria we are use this strain and we are use firstly occur in that strain therefore we call as the e co r1 it is about the nomenclature of the restriction enzyme a lot of enzymes are present restriction enzyme bam one then hind second likewise the different types of the restriction enzyme give the different name and it used different ways in different recombinant dna technology If suppose we are isolating or we will want to recombine dna technology that can we are use this type of the restriction enzymes or simply these restriction enzymes are used for the recombinant dna technology very important function of the recombinant dna technology cleave the dna cleave the dna on a specific recognized site therefore we use this restriction enzyme in a dna recombinant technology without cleave the dna we are not reconstruct the or we are not construct or, or we are not reconstruct or modify the dna for that purpose the restriction enzyme is very important these are the functions these are the nomenclature nomenclature is very simple we write e co r1 this is a restriction enzyme name it is isolated from the stachycholia coli we write here genus first capital letter and species name in a small letter co coli co and we write here strain which strains we are using here are and in first strain we getting this type of restriction enzyme therefore we call it the eco r1 restriction enzyme likewise all the restriction enzyme give the name or the name of the culture this is our third point important point is that types of restriction enzyme different types of restriction enzymes are present different types of restriction enzymes are present here mostly three important types they are in view type 1 type second and type third these are the three four these are also present but in case of your syllabus you know only three are present type 1 type second and type third type 1 means these are the different types of the restriction enzyme on the basis of their recognition of restriction site here first type of rest, uh, restriction enzymes they cut the dna which is a recognized site from that site it will be cut uh, 1000 base pair or we call it the 1 kbp kilo base pair after 1 kbp they cut the our dna therefore all the enzymes include the type 1 these are the restriction the two restriction enzymes classified into three types type 1 type second and type third type 1 those are the restriction enzymes and include the are cut from the recognized site so suppose this the uh, type 1 restriction enzyme they are recognized a specific site here they are recognized a specific site and here from here it will be cut 1000 base pair above uh, in front 
it will be cut likewise means actually restriction site is a blue in color and it will be cut into the one uh, in front of 1000 here we are cutting here 1000 base pairs are present in between the recognizer site that type of restriction enzyme will be in the type 1 and here they require the ATP molecules to cut these up for the Q they require the ATP molecules second type second in the second type they are cut actually which region or which site specific site in that site it will be cut these restriction enzymes mostly these type of the second type of restriction enzymes we are used we are used in recombinant DNA technology mostly in the gene coding and in the mapping we are using this type of restriction enzyme here they does not require the ATP molecules they does not require the ATP molecules and here mostly it requires the magnesium iron in type second type of the restriction enzymes those are the restriction enzymes cut a specific restriction site approve the DNA in a specific site that type of restriction enzymes are included in the type second and here they require the magnesium ions it does not require the ATP molecules here type third this last one type third is in between the first and second those are the restriction enzymes are present the characteristics of first type of restriction enzyme and second type in between they are present means the restriction site it is recognized a restriction site from that restriction site it will be cut the 25 base pairs above or in front of 25 base pairs it will be cut those are the actual restriction sites present and we are cut the at a 25 base pair means to what happens this is nothing but the those are the enzymes that are included are like cut that time it is included in the type paper it require the ATP molecules yes what happens here they require the ATP molecules this is about the three important types on the basis of their recognition site and cleaved DNA another uh, restriction enzymes having the two types of the cut different types of the enzymes they are cut two types mostly they have the one is the cohesive cut or we call it sticky cut means what happens here they are cut directly uh, cohesive type means what happens this is nothing but the DNA it cut likewise it is nothing but the cohesive type of the cut or we call it sticky cut and another cut we call it the blunt cut means they are cut directly from the here they cut direct one this is called as blunt cut and here we call it cohesive cut cohesive cut means what happens we cut the likewise we cut the likewise okay it is called as the cohesive cut or we call it the blunt uh, sticky cut and in blunt cut means they cut the directly direct from the cut take place in direct we use the scissor they take cut into the two pieces directly likewise that type of cut we call the blunt cut and cohesive cut or sticky cut means something but the they cut likewise or it will be present represented by the diagram here that type of cut we call the cohesive cut or we call the sticky cut it is about the general uh, idea about the restriction enzyme how the restriction enzymes function their functions, how they are nomenclature, and how, which type of the restriction enzymes present in the environment and the bacterial cell. Mostly the restriction enzymes are isolated from the bacterial cell. These are the important functions. We will see again here we are uh, see types. This restriction enzymes having three types: type one, type second, and type third. In type first, mostly the restriction enzymes are act on the not a specific restriction site it will be act above the 1000 base pair or below the 1000 base pair and it requires the ATP molecules this is a type 1 restriction enzyme type second restriction enzyme they are recognized site is actually in that recognized site it will be clue those enzymes are clue in the recognized site actually in that recognized site only that time that type of enzymes are included in the type second here they does not require the ATP molecules they require the magnesium ions here and in case or mostly the restriction in the second we are using the recombinant technology because in case of the gene coding and mapping gene mapping for that purpose we are using this type of the restriction enzyme type second and type third is present in between the two type one and type two in between two means what happened here 
recognize a specific site, they are cut above or below the 25 base pairs. Only 25 base pair means from the recognized site it will be cut above the 25 base pair or below the 25 base pair. For that purpose, these are all the enzymes are included in the type section. Those are cut likewise. And here they require the individual. This is about the uh, types of restriction enzymes, nomenclature, how they are used, the nomenclature, and actual the functions of we know very well the functions of restriction enzyme. These are the three important functions. First one is the uh, clue the DNA, second is the recognize the site to recognize the specific site, and third important function is the modification of DNA. Means modification of DNA means restrict the clue. Means it is the opposite function of the restriction enzyme, clue the DNA and uh, we call it the uh, prevent from the clue the DNA. We call it the modification also done by the restriction enzyme. It is about the general idea about the restriction enzyme. It is clear, it is very simple and it is mostly used in the recombinant DNA technology because without cut the DNA we are not modified it. We are not manipulate the DNA without cut or without clue. Therefore, this enzyme is very important role in the recombinant DNA technology. Thank you very much.